how's everyone doing today my name is Gina and I'm doing great are we ready for another pull from the jar video mm -mm. please forgive the background noise the beep beep beeps and all the bang bang bangs they are doing construction behind my house it's probably gonna last for months the saga is on my vlog channel if you want to go and see what's happening but it is very annoying I mean, don't they know that I film videos and they cannot be making all this noise every day? <laughs> all right, let's see what we're doing. Uh, let us see what is happening. We'll just grab this little guy. Use sequins? What was I on, y'all, when I made these prompts? <laughs> Use sequins? What in the what in the world am I gonna use sequence? Oh, now what that? That's probably a, for my extended warranty. Oh my gosh, use sequence. What am I even gonna do? I don't know, but oof, I put it in there. Look, the last couple of times that I've put stuff in there and I'm like why in the world did I do that it turned out to be okay let's hope that happens this week use sequins the only thing I know is to like make a card I don't know I'm gonna brainstorm I'm going to you know maybe do some google google googling um I'm kind of thinking I kind of have an idea of what I want to do but I have to I have to do more research on it to see if it'll work. <laughs> you know, I get these ideas and I'm not sure if they're going to work or not. So, yeah. All right. So, let me do that and I will be back. Okay. So, I have all my sequences. <laughs> Maybe this is why I said to use them. Because, look, I have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> So that's probably why I put that in there because I'm trying to use things that I've not used in a while. I have this cute little heart shaped um, paper box. I probably got it from the Dollar Tree more than likely. I'm pretty sure I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take black gesso and cover this whole thing in black gesso. So I'm going to do that first and when I get done with that then and let it dry then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm only going to do the lid. I'm not going to do the box itself. And I want to start with um, one of my bigger sequins. And I'm going to be using my Art Glitter Glue. So, I mean, this is not like rocket science. I just, it's, I want it to be like a Mandela effect. So, um, I'm thinking of putting like just one big guy here. And I am definitely going to need this thing. Hopefully I have enough wax in there. So, I want it. getting clean like in the middle make sure I'm getting the biggest one that I have And then I'm going to go with like a medium sized. Um, mm -hmm.
Okay, so here it is. Um, that was very interesting. Um, it was kind of hard to do because of the heart shape to keep up with the pattern that I was trying to do. <laughs> but in the end, I think it looks pretty groovy. I don't know if I'm going to put varnish on it. I feel like I should so that it will stay on here, you know. Let's do it. I'm just going to use this uh, clear varnish on it. And so we'll let that dry. And um, we'll come back when it gets dried. Okay, so it's nice and dry. And I went ahead and I did the sides as well, just so that it would look more cohesive, you know? Oh, I think it turned out cute. I like it. I like it a lot. So that was fun. Uh, I just wish the pattern would have kind of stayed, but it's okay. It's kind of hard with the heart shape, I guess, you know. But I like it. I think it's pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're playing along, if you are doing the challenges too, I would love to see what you create. Um, I do have a Facebook group that you can join and um, post your, your creations. Uh, the link is down below. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate it so much. If you like the video, please like it. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.